this past week has been a bit stressful just because, you know, we're so close to getting on the plane. It's like if anything happens, like the chances are over. Team Canada is slowly revealing the roster of Olympians that will represent the country at the upcoming games in Beijing. Getting to this moment has been an emotional roller coaster for many of the Olympians, from events being canceled to trying to stay healthy. It's been hard because we've been trying to like escape COVID, like dodge COVID left and right. And because um, if you test positive, you you can't go to the Olympics. So that's been like I wake like my body's waking up at 7 a.m. like no alarm or nothing. Like I just wake up and I'm stressed a bit about like little things. So really? Courtney Sero, who grew up in New Brunswick but calls Montreal home, will be making her Olympic debut competing in the speed skating short track where they can reach speeds up to 50 kilometers an hour when they're taking the turn. It's a really risky sport. There's a lot of things and accidents that's happened, you know, people's legs getting cut and like just crazy, crazy things in our sport. Other than that, like it's, it's really fun. It's you have like a big adrenaline rush when you're doing it. So I don't think you realize like how dangerous it is when you're in the moment. Um, for me, I'm, I am a little bit crazy. So for me, I'm just going to whip around the corner and hope for the best, honestly. The 21 year old made her World Cup debut just a few years ago and is still coming to terms with the fact she will forever be known as an Olympian. I think it only hit me really like yesterday when, um, it was announced officially and like everyone just started like flooding me with like congratulations stuff like that i was like okay it's real it's not just a dream athletic greatness runs deep in her family her brother's a hockey player her mother's extremely athletic and her dad is former nhl player eve Saro. i was always watching my dad and like he was professional and like his dream came true so like for me, it was just like, well, my dream's gonna come true then too, because it's just normal. Like basically I knew that if I would work hard and make a few sacrifices that it's possible for the dream to come true. Courtney's journey to the Olympics continues in five days when she flies to Beijing and she's hopeful that after she lands and passes protocols that she'll be able to finally take a moment and relax before the games begin. Reporting for City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.